What's up, Gemini gang? What's happening, you guys? Happy Thursday, okay? There is also a new moon in Capricorn. It is January 11th, which is 1 11th, 1 1 11th, 1 11, 1 1 1. All right, so new beginnings, fresh starts, all that good stuff. Um, let's see what's going on in your money sector, all right? All Gemini placements, take what resonates, leave the rest, take it how it resonates with you and your situation. Personal readings are in the description box. Hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes, y'all. Hit that subscribe, hit those likes, hit those subscribes. Uh, all right? Hit those likes, hit those subscribes. I'm going to say it one more time, okay? All right, y'all. Let's see what's going on with you. Money-wise, career-wise, sometimes it'd be some spiritual stuff coming in. Um, so let's see what's happening. So far, I'm liking the energy. Okay. So money's going to be flowing. Cash flow. Okay, so we have um, affluence. Okay. Influx of abundance. Quick cash, deep pockets, assets, patron, money flow. Okay, I like stay. I got some money coming in. Then we have... Um, transition uh ending and beginning Ooh, i've seen this we've seen this one uh before gemini's new job quit fired moving lost income inherit and hospice seen that one before some of you guys are leaving one situation to go to another one um or you lost something that you needed to lose um in order to go something else whoop yeah and spirit is um confirming that open window okay this one is golden opportunity clarity guidance spiritual calling and synchronicity okay i think that one came out before too then we have attraction manifesting and magnetism intention focus effort target release and prosper all right so some of you guys need to be very clear on your goals um you need two 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 and i looked over Write your stuff down. Write down the things. And it's not too late, okay? I feel like sometimes people don't do things because they feel like it's too late. You can do that anytime. You know what I mean? Um, and I did do a, a one on one um, with someone that di didn't write their goals down on the new year. So they just didn't write down anything because now they feel like right now it's too late. It's never too late. You can write your goals in June, in August, okay? uh try not to put too much so much pressure on yourself about everything okay uh just just get it done you know get it done whenever you can today's a great time with the energy with the new moon and all of that good stuff okay with the the energy of number ones number ones are about about confidence they're about fresh starts you know so let's see what's going on all right some of you may have end up losing something because you're meant for more. The moon, yeah, three of pentacles. Yeah, some of you may have lost a job recently. Mm -hmm. Four of cups here on the bottom. Something you didn't even want to do in the first place, uh, Gemini. Now, let me say this, all right? A lot of times when we complain about our job a lot, guess what? <laughs> You end up losing it, okay? Uh, but it's because, it, and that, that is a way of indirectly asking for what you want, right? When you're like, oh, I hate this job. Oh, I got to get up and go to this job every day. I hate it. It sucks. Blah, 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 blah. So Spirit's like, oh, it sucks? Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to take it from you. So you can go get, so you can go do what you want to do, Okay. And some of you are like, well, wait, wait, <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. That's why you have to be specific uh, when you are um, asking spirit what you want. OK, so I feel like some of you guys. Oh, I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles. Um, I'm getting to some of you guys are or need to be in some way attached to your money emotionally or attached to your career emotionally. Some of you have cancer placements too. I'm not sure why I thought that, but mm -hmm. 
Five of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you, some of you lost a job of some sort. But I also feel like you are in the space of negative thinking, Gemini's. Three of Swords. Yeah. Ciao. <sighs> it's gonna be one of these reads. I hate to be on y'all asses today. I really hate to do it. <laughs> but let me tell you this. Some of you are focused on the wrong shit. Period. Okay. There was a while back when um and I kind of I kind of had this in the la in yesterday's live too, but this was when I was doing lives all the time. And um someone on the live said well i've been waiting for for months and they haven't called and they haven't texted and this that the other right and so that's why i was like well maybe maybe you need to book a reading you need to book a personal to kind of see what part of the general reads resonate and what parts don't right even if it's not with me you need to book a one-on-one -on -one to see what is in alignment with you and what's not okay so they said, well, um, I don't have the money to do that. Okay, cool. Well, go on Amazon and get you get your own deck. Okay, get, get your own deck. It's like $10. Well, I'm not able to do that. Okay, pause. Okay, if you don't have $10 to go on Amazon and order a tarot deck, you do not need to be worried about when somebody's coming back period okay you need to be focused on something else some of you might be letting like your love life intertwine with your finances some of you were dating someone too uh in the workplace and and that ended up going south or be mindful of this gemini's okay especially if you're dating someone in the workplace uh, you already know this person is full of drama. Be mindful of that, okay? But I feel like some of y'all's focus is on the wrong thing, okay? You, you need to shift your focus. If you are struggling, you should not be even worried about when somebody's going to return to you, okay? You need to be focusing on uh, self and personal development. That's where your focus needs to be, all right? Let's see what else is going on. Uh, your your own personal healing, all right? Because I feel like a lot of you guys, you aren't reaching your full potential because you aren't, you're putting your energy in the wrong places. Stuff that doesn't matter right now, okay? So, oh my God. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, uh, the Hangman, Gemini, what the fuck is going on with you the queen of swords mm. baby look get that bitterness out your heart gemini's okay you gotta do it get that stress out your heart uh don't let your finances suffer over other people especially not no lover come on uh gemini's who's this resonating with Who's going to be bold enough to admit it? Because y'all be lying to y'all selves. Look, your focus needs to be on building self. That needs to be your focus right now, um, Gemini's. Okay? I'm also getting to what I got for you guys in, in another reading. With you need to change how you view money. Now, for some of you, it's not necessarily your fault that you see money the way that you do, okay? But you know the saying goes, it might not always be your fault, but it's your responsibility. So some of you were taught a certain thing about money and finances and work, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and it, it's to your detriment now. Like you're starting to see now, that's that's that, that, uh, that eight energy. That's that eight energy. Well, wait, wait till I get this video done with this with this numerology eight, okay? All right, because we talk about the abundance and stuff from the eight, but that eight is it has a lot of traumas and stuff coming up too, um, because that Saturn is like, are you really ready for what you're asking for? 
And I feel like some of you guys are being tested right now. It could be with your family, could be with your children, could be with your love life. So are you, are you really serious about what you want out of this life? Or are you going to let anything come in and knock you off your square? Gemini's. Because how long are you going to sulk on, on the fact that you lost that job or you lost that person or whatever? Um, Gemini's. Because I feel like there's something here you're not seeing. There's something here you're missing. Especially with the five of pentacles here in the hangman. And it has open window here with a golden opportunity. There's opportunities that you're not seeing, Gemini's. Because you're too focused on something else. Alright? So... Shift your focus, Gemini's. Now, with the moon and the five of pentacles, again, that gives me a vibe of some type of lack mentality that is subconscious to you. Okay? So, it, that needs to be fixed and adjusted, uh, Gemini. So, you know, if you don't have the money to invest in a, a coach or something along the lines of that, that'll help you. There's a ton of YouTube videos that you can watch that will help you with this affirmations and all of that um yeah i'll touch on it more in another video but <clears throat> gemini's i feel like some of you guys are needing a complete um attitude change um subconscious change when it comes to your money and your finances okay like completely ah! Gotta cover up the star card. Hold on, hold on, Gemini. Hold on, <laughs> on y'all. All right, so we have the star here. I love it. I love how this star is over here on this moon. I love it so much. All right, because there's hope for a lot of you. There's hope. Some of you have been through a lot too, and don't let what you've been through. Um, Get in the way of what you're trying to build, uh, Gemini's, or what you're trying to do, uh, or what it is that you desire in this life. Because there's going to be shit that, that gets in the way. You're going to be tested. Okay? Spirit's going to be like, is this really what you want? Because if it is, you're going to be able to overcome this adversity. Okay? Um, I also saw the chariot here. The King of Cups, the Queen of Swords again. Yeah, some of you guys needing to get into this space of, uh, for some of you, you need to get more into like communications, like you need to communicate more. For some of you, you're going to be able to get out of this energy. And you're going to help other people do the same. Okay, but seeing this star here kind of gives me a vibe of you. You might be... Um, Pouring into too many uh, things, into too many other things, and not really yourself, um, Gemini's. Like, no matter what it is. It could be your job. Like, some of you will work in a job that is is overworking you, but won't, won't give you the promotion and, you know, not giving you the pay raise and things like that. Some of you, you know, it was, they did you a favor by uh, letting you go, okay, or you quitting or whatever. But I feel like you might be swallowing a little bit um, over this loss. Like I said, it could be a job. For some of you, like I said, I feel like this is like a love thing. Like, I don't see how the hell love and seeped into the, into the, this read. But for some of you, I feel like there's a, a, like a person involved here. The hangman, yeah, the ace of cups here on the bottom. Yeah, you, you need uh, to look at this differently you need to change your perspective regarding your situation yeah you lost the job but what can you gain from it that's alchemy you guys being able to take that negative thing and turn it into a positive transformation so whatever you think that happened bad how can you get a good outcome out of it Instead of wallowing about it, instead of stressing about it, um, what what can you do to make it make some shit uh, shake, Gemini's? I'm seeing uh, you need to change your your perspective about something, uh, Gemini's. There's something here that you need you need to look at it differently. Yep, Seven of Wands. Mm hmm. The Death card here on the bottom, baby. <laughs> 
transformation. This is literally saying exactly what I just said. You need to learn how to take this negative thing, turn it into a positive transformation. So how can you do that? The moon's under there. Yeah. How can you do that? You need to figure out how you can do that. Like I said, if you can't afford to invest in yourself, because I know that's going to be the first thing people say every time you tell them to get some help. They always talk about how expensive it is and they don't have the money. Every time you go into I don't have, I don't have, I don't have, you are in this lack mentality, uh, Gemini's. I can't do and all this other stuff. Switch that around to I'll find a way. A way will open up. Because you find a way for that person. <laughs> Okay, you find a way for love or somebody you you think you love, uh, Gemini's, but you don't find a way for yourself. And that that's a part of uh, the year being a year eight. Um, yeah, you, you're going to get a lot out of the year depending on what you put in. But eights is a Saturn and eights are about karma. And if you ain't been pouring into yourself and you've been pouring to other people, it's going to be a very tough year for you, Gemini's. And I'm just going to be very honest with you. If you're not doing the work on self, it's going to be a tough year for you. Okay? So uh, you, someone needs an attitude adjustment. And I feel like it is based on something that you lost or you feel like you're losing. Because if, if you did lose it, it was for a reason. You need it, it needed to be gone, uh, Gemini's, for you to get what you want. Because you told Spirit that you wanted X, Y, Z, right? You told Spirit that you wanted to go back to school, but, you, but then you made an excuse. Oh, dang, my job is in the way. So what, what Spirit do? Spirit got the job out the way. <laughs> Okay, that's why you got to be very careful about what you're saying um, and, and what you're asking for, a Gemini's. Okay, be very, very careful with that. So you have time now. Think about what you have gained. Pay attention to what you have that you love. Try not to focus so much on shit that you've lost uh gemini's because what's going to happen is that stuff like that's going to amplify you're amplifying this energy for you um and you're putting yourself in in a uh, mental mental anguish that isn't even necessary um gemini's okay so let's see what you need to work on um gemini's oh interesting <laughs> All right, yep, there's the environment card. I knew that. <laughs> Whoop, damn. Ooh, damn. I'm good. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Let me show y'all what somebody gave me. Hold up. Where'd he go? Because <laughs> I'm sure about to use it. Every time somebody gave this to me, y'all, uh, every time I be going hard on the, they gave me this hand right here for me to clap myself. <laughs> <laughs> so we have half-hearted effort. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Half-hearted effort, Gemini's. Um, when you don't give your all, you get stuck in mediocrity. Give it your all. Start unleashing your full potential. Put in 100% effort and you'll soon see the rewards of your efforts come to fruition. I literally just said that. Now, if you put your energy into some bullshit, Gemini's, guess what's going to happen? That is what is going to come to fruition. Or fruitation, my favorite word. <laughs> All right? So, this is pretty much saying you want to get back what you put in. All right? Fear of success. The theme of the reading. Okay? Concern that achieving success will come at the cost of of something else valued. Feel your success. Be patient with yourself as you unravel the fear 
and work through the uncomfortable phase of pushing yourself towards your goals and reconstruct it with more positive expectation. All right, Gemini's, hit those likes, hit that subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace out.